We know exercise is a great way to stay healthy, and athletes from Grant and West Salem High Schools are playing a water polo match you see right there, and they're in the Willamette River right now. So this is sort of a clever solution to a shortage of pool space. The first of three matches are just about to get started, and we have Grant coach Damon Hess joining us from Audrey McCall Beach. So tell us how this all came about, Damon. Well, earlier this summer, we were looking for pool space with Portland Park and Rec, and when we couldn't find any, uh, our, our friend at the Human Ask Test Project, Willie Levinson, suggested we come down to the Willamette. So we tried it out, it worked, and we kept playing. What about the challenges, Coach, in playing in the river versus a pool? You have to deal with the current, right? We do have to deal with the current, yes. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to keep the goals anchored. As you see, they float around a bit, but uh, the fun of playing outdoors uh, in the river outweighs the challenges for sure. Well, I don't see anybody uh, wearing any wetsuits. What's the water temperature like this time of year? It should be in the high 60s today. We've been blessed by a couple of hot days, and so it's about, uh, let's say, it's about eight, 8 degrees cooler than we'd have it in a pool. Ooh. Okay, coach, we see somebody on a paddleboard out there. Is that the referee? <laughs> that is the referee, yes. He is a, uh, an official Oregon High School referee, and when he heard that we were doing this, uh, he volunteered to come out and, and ref <laughs> the game, so we're happy to have him out there. Oh, that's fun. Coach, tell us a little bit about the shortage of the uh, practice space in local pools. How has that impacted the team? Well, none of, we're at Grant High School and, and none of our uh, PIL schools, I think with the exception of Wilson, has our own pool. So we use Park Rose Pool, we've used the Portland State Pool, uh, but during the summer the Portland Park and Rec Pools were apparently all full. Uh, so we just try to find any open water we can to get in there and throw the ball around. So will you keep going back to the river? Will, will we what? Keep going back to the Willamette to practice and play games maybe in the future? Oh, absolutely. Now that we've got it dialed in with the uh, lane lines and the, and the goals, uh, we're ready to go. We'll just, we'll just have to wait for it to warm up again next summer. Yeah, and I understand that a little do-it-yourself project made those goals. What is, was it a parent <laughs> that came up with the goals? Pete Conklin. <laughs> he is the mastermind and the engineering genius behind the goals. We did have a, a few of our students that helped out with the painting. And I, and I wanted to make sure that all the fans knew it's South Salem that we're playing against. Their, their coach, Damien, was, was so enthusiastic when he heard that we were playing in the river that he offered to come down. So I believe this is the first time in the history of Oregon that a high school game has been played in the river. All right, oh, well, wow. we thank you for taking a few moments from your coaching duties to tell <laughs> us this story. Really a lot of fun, and best of luck to both teams.